Hello everyone, ESIC pharmacist exam is going to be held on 10th December from morning 8.30 to 10.30. Only two days are left for the examination and in this video I will explain what to revise in these two days related to pharmacy subject. See, I have uploaded many videos related to this exam. I have picked up ESIC pharmacist previous exam questions and explained it. If you have time, go through it. They are all, they are all very short videos which will explain uh, questions with answer explanation. Now related to pharmacy subject, uh, as I can see, there are three major uh, subjects are there. Pharmacology, which includes anatomy, physiology and pathophysiology, and then pharmacognosy, and then uh, pharmaceutical jurisprudence. So among these three, what is to be revised is, see, in case of pharmacology, the important things are classification, mechanism of action and adverse effects. In each and every paper, there are direct questions related to classification of the drugs. Just you need to know for disease what all the drugs are there and what is the classification is. Along with that, adverse effects. There are prominent adverse effects are there. In case of uh, sulfo, uh, uh, sulfur drugs, uh, sulfonamide drugs, crystal urea is the prominent adverse effect. Uh, similarly, in case of fluoroquinolones, tendonitis is the uh, major adverse effect. In case of chloramphenicol, grey baby syndrome is there. Likewise, the most important adverse effect, please go through it. Uh, uh, these three would be enough classification, mechanism of action, and uh, uh, major adverse effects. See, time is short. Make sure that if you have any prepared notes is there, please revise that. But make sure you learn the classification thoroughly because definitely you're going to get questions from that topic. Now, the second uh, important subject is pharmacognosy. Now, in pharmacognosy also, there are many questions coming in the examination. What you need to read is, see, pharmacognosy read again classification of pharmacognosy related to therapeutic uses and chemical classification. Let me explain it. So in case of uh, let's say uh, cardiotonics means what are the drugs you get in cardiotonics related to pharmacognosy. You know we all know Digitalis, Strophanthus, Squill, Thivisia, all of them are related to cardiotonics. Chemically they are belong to glycosides. So you need to read both of them. For a particular action, for a particular uh, therapeutic activity, what drugs comes in that class? Right, anti-malarial, quinine is there. So likewise, you need to read the classification as well as chemical classification also. Chemically, what are they? Now, when you read about this uh, classification, you need to know biological source, family, chemical constituents, chemical test. I would say you can drop chemical test because only two days are there. So read a uh, therapeutic classification, biological source and chemical constituents. See the advantage of learning families is some of the chemical constituents are related to the family name. name. Gingibaraceae, Gingibarone, uh, Valeriaceae, Valerinone. So the family name also includes in the chemical constituents. So these things are there. And then again, you need to read according to chemical classification also. There are many questions are there. Uh, like mir belongs to oleo gum resin. You need to know what is that is. Volatile oil, which of the following is volatile oil? Cinnamon, cardamom, all of them are volatile oil categories. So simple questions are there. So just make a note of what is the particular therapeutic use, which uh, 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 plant comes under this category. And then chemical, it belongs to what class? Like tannins, you have Ashoka is there, Arjuna is there, Katachi is there, all of them belong to tannin. Such simple questions are being asked. So make sure you learn all those things. Now the third important thing is, um, pharmaceutical jurisprudence in that pharmaceutical jurisprudence just know what all the acts are there in which year they have established pharmacy act drug and cosmetic act narcotic drugs and psychotic substances act all these acts just learn in which year they have established first one second one the most important thing is schedules see learn each and every schedule they are simple like uh, schedule h we all know prescription drugs schedule m good manufacturing practices likewise just learn them because there is a, there are direct questions related to them the third one is uh, there are certain committees are there. So Bohr committee is there, uh, Kurana committee is there, such kind of committees and what is the objective. And then finally for each and every act what are the salient features are there. So these two days just go through three major topics. Now, along with that see in anatomy physiology very simple kind of questions are being asked. So like erythroblastis foetalis that particular disease is related to blood cells. Such kind of simple questions are being asked. Erythroblastis foetalis is related to which one? So some of the organs are given and RBC is given. It is related to RBC. Simple questions are being asked. Similarly, pathophysiology also. What is hyperplasia? Increase in cell number is hyperplasia. That kind of questions are being asked. So know the terms. 
In pharmacology, know the classification, mechanism of action, adverse effects, important adverse effects. In pharmacognosy, know the therapeutic classification and chemical classification. Whether it is a cardiotonic, carminative, or it is used as an anti-malarial agent. Chemically, whether it is a glycoside, volatile, tannin, whatever it is. And then know the biological source with family and chemical constituents. In case of jurisprudence, just know which act came into uh, which came into force in which year, salient features of the act, and the most important thing is schedules. Go through all the schedules. These two days, go through these things. Uh, I hope this will be useful. All the best.